Keep Goats back in Firewatch Day 3. We won't get a big uh, opening to this. We might as well get right to it because it is a story-driven game and these episodes take about 45 minutes to do. So I don't want to... Uh, a thermos. Look, I only got three socks. Like that's a little weird. I don't you think it's a little weird. Okay, we we gotta fix we gotta fix the window. Um, yes. Yeah, so we're on day three, uh, in Firewatch. So let's get to this. I gotta fix this broken window. I find, I need to find a board. Where do I where do I get a board? I don't know where to get boards from. Um. Okay. This is. I okay, flip the light switch. Broken. Okay. Is there boards outside? Maybe. I don't know. I got. I got to look around that place here. I, I. I think there's boards here. Or something I got to use to board up this window, or is it the toolkit I need to use? Okay. Okay. There's a photo with Julia. There's a toolkit. Okay. We have wood here. I can't board up the window. I don't think at the moment. Um. Let me see. Do I have an inventory? Nope. These are just notes and documents. Where do I need to board? I'm. I'm assuming I need boards. Maybe there's boards downstairs. I'll go take a look. Let me see. Ugh. I, got, I still can't get over how beautiful this game is, though, man. I'll tell you, Campo Santo really nailed the, the visual style of this. Let's we'll see if there's any boards down here somewhere. I couldn't see myself keeping them upstairs. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, let's see here. Oh, is this is this maybe it? There we go. Okay, we'll grab one of these uh, pieces of plywood here. Oh, no, we can't. Where do I get boards from? Oh, is this a board? Oh, there's a board there. Okay. Take this board. Get a couple more boards. All right. Oh, here's another board over here. See, everything's going good now. We're going to get these boards and go fix our window. Do I need more? Is that all the boards I need? Okay, well, we'll, just, we'll say this is enough boards. for. Oh, there's a board here. We'll get this too. There we go. I board up the broken window. You got it, boss. I'm on my way. How are you guys today? I'm very excited to be back in this. I like these kind of games, you know. It's a little bit more of a just relaxing adventure. Although I, I think it's going to turn into something scary. I have this weird feeling. <laughs> there we go. Oh, geez. Okay, there we go. Board this up. Perfect. I don't see any nails, but that'll do. I wouldn't even be worried about boarding it up, honestly, until it was raining. But I guess it keeps the bugs out. keeps the animals out. There we go. And done. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. All right, we're ready to work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just take a look around. I don't see any fires. Job done. Go home. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. <laughs> Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. All right. Day nine. But we skipped ahead, eh? So I just spent the last six days sitting here? That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Oh, sandwich. Nice. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Yeah, it's beautiful out here. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Oh, great. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should I'm happy tell to be whoever questioned. that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Always do the right thing. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. 
Me oh, neither. Someone's got a past. Bye, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I will. Look at this. This is gorgeous out here. Day 15. I don't know how I'm going to name these videos. <laughs> I was naming them after the days. Henry. Henry, wake up. Okay, okay. I'm waking up. What do you want? Ugh. Ugh. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. I'm getting, I'm getting to the radio. Where is it? Give me this. What do you want? Big dumb idiot. Oh, someone's been drinking. I can tell. Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Mm, I what am. What the heck? Are you having a nice time? Oh, God, he's like dreaming of his wife or something. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, this is sad. Bye, baby. Day 33. Jesus is skipping all over the place. Day 3, 9, 15, 33. What is going on? Hope those girls got found, though. Maybe that's my mission here. Hike north to retrieve supplies. Is it too supplies. much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Ooh. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> Let's see. Where's my map? I gotta head north. All right. Are we heading? So like two north weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and. All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to... Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine, he'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that, it'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. <laughs> oh, that's just real nice. I just lied about it for over 10 years and uh for some reason i wanted you to know that's trust right there baby uh, i figured you've told me so much about you so you know there's something about me we both fucked up yeah that's the thing you know like people don't recognize the effect of certain events on your mental health and how sometimes you can take a break lying about it to people isn't going to help anything you know you don't have to talk about something if you don't want to but you know you just be honest with people you're going through something because at least they know because when you start acting strange or you're being a little mean for no reason because you're having a bad time that's okay if people love you they'll forgive you but 
you try not to take that stuff out on people, but sometimes it slips out. And if they know you're going through stuff, it makes it much easier for them to deal with. And you should always be as honest with yourself and them as possible. Don't try to pretend you're happy. Don't try to pretend you're, oh, here we go, uh, doing well when you're not. Because then you just drive people away. You think you're just acting the fool and you don't want to be that. That's my mental health tip for today. Be honest with everyone and yourself, even when you don't want to be. Let's see here. Oh. Okay, two, four. Uh, this is me, right? Yeah. Give me this. Report heading home. I got my supplies, baby. I'm All going right. home. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64 in this adventure. I just noticed the logo actually kind of turns bright as it loads up. I just noticed that. So we're like a month into this. I'm not, I don't remember when we started, though. Okay. Oh, what's go? What is this? Got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Road lotion. Big fire, the flapjack fire, Delilah. Uh, Delilah's a <laughs> nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I don't like the looks of this. I feel like this so is going to start causing me trouble. Hell. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Sister really seems to be into the substances. Marijuana, <laughs> margarita mix. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just... Get lost. Yeah, there's something primitive and awesome about fire. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Where is this going? I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... It's been really nice. It has. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We need, we need we to move on. Outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... Oh, 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 What could we do? What could we do? Well... Let me tell you. <gasps> No, this is YouTube. I can't. You can't. Day seventy-six. You, you can't just talk about this stuff on YouTube. This is how you get demonetized, lady. Going what? Fishing without a license? Yeah, yeah, it's I am. One fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just? Let me know what you find. Sure. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east. And, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem huh. bear? Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She seems nice, you know, like, I understand he's kind of still married, but, you know, it's, 
that part of his life is over. I stomped this out at one point. You got to move on and you got to keep, not keep yourself happy. It's not always about the happiness, but it's about feeling connected. And you want to feel connected sometimes. And this is, this is a good way to feel connected is having that human connection. Even if there's not a physical relationship, just having some sort of human connection. This better not be a bear because all I have is a fishing rod. What is that? What was that? What was that? Hello, bear? What is this? There's something on the... There's a, there's a notepad here. What is this? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. All right. Let me see. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. What? Something's out here. Uh, is it a radio? Henry... I'm worried. Okay, um, I don't need this no more. You didn't eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God, I don't know why I just called you that. Okay, towards the canyons this way. This is Thunder Canyon. I'm assuming I'm going this way here. Well, I see something. What is this? It's a radio. What? What is this? Put this map away. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. What the? <laughs> oh, what the heck? See? Horror game! What the? No! Henry, the bear is attacking you! Henry? Are you there? The bears are using radios. They've gotten smarter. What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't, I don't know. know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? That's What's a very good question. Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? what you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. I, I, I would remember this. Thank you. I would have reported it. This just... Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Going up behind a fence, we should leave. I'll get to the I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. <laughs> what do we got in here? Open this up. One, two, three, and four. All right, let's see here. Oh, copy this map information just like I need. 
All right, let's see. No fireworks, obviously. An old sweater. Uh, the fourth estate. What is this? Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him some good. Soak up some sun, drive a convertible, maybe enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing after a murder and a first... This is just a crappy, cheap murder novel. Give me this. I want the sweater. What is this? University of Eastern Colorado. Ron, got some bad news back home. So hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say? The budgets being the way they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but does, but I don't know. But I don't know. Sorry. I probably overdid it. I wish I'd have been there. I guess I must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and professionals is Italian. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine with that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so she said the north side of the lake. Yeah, so we're headed towards the north side of the lake. All right, all right. We're going to the north side of the lake here. I don't want to need that out. We'll run. Okay, let's see here. I don't see. Okay, well, let's go. I can't get through here, so maybe there's a path back this way. This doesn't look passable. All right, well, what goes on this way then? Where does this go? Explore Wapiti Men Meadow. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's right down this way. Okay. Wapiti Station. All right. No problem. We're going to tie our extra ropes here. Man, we got some unlimited amounts of rope. This is great. Okay. I don't know if you should be chasing down somebody just punched you in the back of the head. I think it's one of those like, well, they got the best of me that time. What's going to stop them from getting the best of me the second time? And me and my stubby legs are going to get killed out here in the bush. And this is the last thing we need right now. <gasps> this is like an Anook Shook. What is this? This is, this is interesting. This is like Native Americans do that whole stone stacking thing. I believe it's the Inuit in particular that do that. But don't quote me on that. I don't want to uh, insult anybody. But yes, I've seen these before. Living in Canada, you get a pretty good connection with stuff like that. What's over here? I saw some. What was that? I just saw something. What popped up? Oh, damaged tree. Oh, I can't chop it down. I don't got an axe. It would be nice if I did. Why don't I have an axe? That's a good question. Well, we'll head down here to the meadows. See what's going on. Here's that fence again. Yeah, here's the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Get through the fence. I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use the stone to break this lock. Looks like goddamn area fifty one. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. No, I, that's we'll not exciting. That. Let me through! Hello? 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 I need to come in now. Hello? Who's in there? Hello? Maybe this will work. Nothing. Okay, where's that stuff? Okay. What is that? So we need to get through this fence. They want me to get through the fence. I'm not sure... We'll walk the bit of the fence line here and see what's going on. Okay. I don't see a way through. I thought the rock might break the fence, but that's not that's not happening. So the bigger stones. I don't see any way through this fence. Am I missing it? Is there like a oh? No, it's not that. Okay. A long stick. Will this work on the fence? You stick. Yeah, that doesn't work either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't figure if the rock's not going to work. That's probably not going to work. Too bad I can't climb one of these trees. Long stick. Nope, we just did that. It didn't do anything. Okay, well. Let's 
There's got to be something around here. Why can't I just climb this rock and then hop the fence? I don't understand why that's a thing. Blue stone. That's not going to work. Okay. I don't have anything else in my inventory. Let's take a look around and see if we can... There's another loose stone there. Is there another stick, maybe? Maybe we can build, like, a hammer out of a stick and a rock, which would be a weird thing, but... All right, I I've, I've beat the hell out of this gate latch. Tried to pry it open, and nada. I can't get in. Ah, oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, Axe. actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, well, let's see the map now. Let's see, where are we going? Ruby somewhere, she said. Okay, there we go. We're at this fence, we're at that fence. There's The whole thing is just cordoned off. Now, was that the supply drop? Where am I going? Look for controlled burn, some burn south of Ruby River. Oh, geez, that's a long ways off, man. Okay, so we got to kind of head southeast. All right, we'll see what we can do, but it's going to be a bit. I got to go all the way back that way. Holy crap. Okay, let's go south. All right, we'll run this time because it's a ways off. and We don't want, to, <laughs> we don't want people to have to suffer through my voice longer than necessary. Let's go. They do a good job of making the world look bigger than it actually is. I'll give them that. I hear, like, weird humming noises, too. And I don't know if it's just my imagination or one of the sound effects for the wind or something. There we go. Come on. Up here. Good times. All right. Ugh. Let's run. Don't be so out of breath. It's a good exercise to be out here in the, in the, in the, in the, whatever this is. The wilds. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Map. We're already back there. If we backtrack... All the way. Okay, if I go around. I go across here. I think I can just follow this. Okay, I got an idea. All right, we'll go this way. We'll see what happens. I'll cut this out if it gets too long and weird. All right, run. We got to figure this out because that dude is dangerous. Who has ever beat me? I guess it could be a woman. Beat me about the head with sticks and what, what I'm lost now what, what, what am I doing this is what happens when you put scapegoat in the forest there we go perfect okay here we go run through here what's this this is not right go through here under this tree stump okay there we go run we're in this meadow now it's quite the hike just to go get uh, ah music just go get something to knock that off with I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Let's see here. All right, so I'm probably going to have to go down this, I guess. So I wonder what the dude's problem is with me. I'm assuming it's that guy I saw in the very first episode or second episode, was it? He had the flashlight pointed at me. It looked like a dude to me. It could be a woman, I guess, but it, it kind of looked like a dude to me. And he's probably out here causing trouble. This is going to be like a murder mystery or something. I can feel it. He's probably got those two girls held captive. And the last thing we need is to be dealing with... We don't even have a weapon. We should have kept that loose rock. Okay, I know where I'm, I'm kind of... No, this isn't right. This isn't right at all. Oh, 
Okay, I get it now. Crap, I went the wrong way. I had to go back up here and then cut across where I normally... All right, no problem here. Hang on a sec. We're... I'm just... I'm, I'm cut this out, I promise. I'm sorry. Okay, we're kind of back on track now, I think. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Well, good to know. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. <sighs> hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Intercepting my frequency telling me. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. Tune to the no, same channel. I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. So, I, I should have went back there, but if I just keep wrapping this path, and then, let's see here. Oop, okay, you can't see the map. I know All right. we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't well, like good. feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, it's just how scared he would have been. His dad could protect him if he actually enjoyed it. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know. Ned, Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, this is that kid that disappeared. Brian Goodwin, was it? Yes, I think so. I think that was it. Yeah, he disappeared, and now we're stuck. Where are we? Where's the, where's the map? I need the map. I'm a map-based guy. I think it's down over this way. I think. At least this makes sense to me. Let's see. Yeah, down to the river, across the river, and then over there. All right, no problem. I got this. I got this. I can't beat the goat. This is how I do things. Look at me rolling through this game. This is so good. Across the river on these rocks here. Check out that supply cache. All right. There we go. Look at me jumping here. It's like, I'm like, all these years of Mario are finally paying off. Whoa. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Oh, Jane Eyre. Good book. Charlotte Bronte, man. I'm telling you, this, this woman knew how to write a book. All right. Toilet paper. Oh, bum fodder. Just the way I like it. This does not look too ply, though. This is like that cheap stuff you find at rest stops. Okay. Let's see what this note says. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most time, I'd prefer to keep things pen and paper, but every time, once in a while... Be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took a job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting in that spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through this bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. Oh, Dave seems like a nice guy. I'm gonna copy this info down on my map. You got it? Okay, what else we got? We got some more toilet paper. Chance to die. Okay, there's not much going on here. Let's check the map again. I believe if we just cut through this forest area and keep hanging lefts, we'll make it. Okay, so let's just do that. Wait a minute, am I hanging lefts? Yeah, hanging lefts. No, wait a minute. I'm facing down, yeah, so it'll be to my left. Yeah, okay. All right, let's move. 
I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Oh! Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. That erect uh, sled There's over here. There's old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. What's this? Is this like a signpost? Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> pork. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den or, you know, anywhere. All right, so it looks like we're heading right. We keep heading east. We should be fine. All right, there we go. Look at me navigating like an explorer. I'm like uh, Lewis and Clark. Look at me go. Without all the weird stuff. Okay, what's this? Camp Arapaho? Arapaho? Okay. Okay, we'll go through here. Okay. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. <laughs> Beware of people in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. What do we got? Let's see here. All right, we're dropping long. Okay, made it. I should have reported that, I guess, but it doesn't matter now. All right. How am I going to get back out of here if I can't get up there? Whoa, this has been torn to pieces. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well... If forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. He, he wasn't a scout or a weebelow or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no, I'd make a weebelow do it. <laughs> yeah, abuse the children. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. For the past 35 years, yeah. What is this? Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Oh, here we go. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. A Pulaski? It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. I'm taking this. Excellent. What the... Okay, what else we got here? Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Q, 
keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> I said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Horn oh, toads. You know, probably just horn toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Yeah, I figured you could go through these. Why else would you get an axe? I saw a tree you cut down earlier, too. There we go. All right, let's head back. Oh, here we go. Cutting down some trees? Yes, yeah, see, doing manly things. This is how I operate, fool. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, feels good, doesn't it? Yep, just do all that man stuff. Get a little sweat going on. Knock this down. Knock it down, fool. There we go. This reminds me of playing Breath of the Wild. Okay. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that I got my axe. Now, do I head back over and knock the... Oh, there's the fire smoke there. Do I head back over and knock that thing open? Hey there. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. I did. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> What the Did heck was that? Cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. oh, things are getting interesting, man. This is getting a little creepy and shit. I like this. Day 77. Yeah, that's how you handle this. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? <laughs> Let's talk okay uh okay all right by the way i was wondering if your flora of the shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower oh uh, yeah it's over what? here it's just protocol that those stay up you know info about your tower the surrounding tree species etc uh uh all right just you know have a look at it make sure it's in ship shape okay Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Longpole pine. Yes, I do. Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. 
Okay. We'll do that. But this seems like a good natural stopping point. Look, look at all the stuff in here. They detailed this so well. I'm going to leave this episode here. That was kind of exciting. I like where this is going. Sorry I don't talk as much during these things, but I like to make sure people hear the stories. So, you know, that kind of thing. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this and like to see another episode, it'll be coming out in a few days. And if you didn't, well, you know, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Pretty sure I love every view I get. Scapegoat. out.